Okay, here's the article right here. We found it. Inside Blizzard Developer's infamous Cosby Suite. Okay, here we go. But the Cosby Suite was more than just a nickname or a joke. Based on images and comments Afrasabi posted on his Facebook, uh, supplied to Kotaku by former developer at Blizzard, it was reportedly a booze-filled meeting place where many, including Afrasabi, would pose with an actual portrait of Bill Cosby while smiling. What? This is so weird. What the fuck? It was also a hotspot for informal networking at BlizzCon, uh, three sources told Kotaku, where people were looking to make inroads at the company would go and meet and hang out with some of its top designers. Day zero preparations made, Cosby suite in effect. This doesn't make sense. I'm so confused. Like, this is so weird. I honestly, I'm, I'm just so weirded out by this. Let's read the rest of this. Afrasabi did not respond to Kotaku by press time and has deleted most of his social media presence, but Afrasabi can clearly be seen in a number of pictures and surrounded by a variety of unidentified people on a bed. The captions of screenshots suggest the album hails from gatherings held from BlizzCon 2013. The captions and comments are both written by, named by other Blizzard employees and pictures show. One ex-Blizzard source familiar with the people presented in the pictures identified an HR representative as one of the Blizzard employees present in the hotel room. Another image from a fame, same Facebook album shows a screenshot of a 2013 group chat called the BlizzCon Cosby Crew. In it, former Blizzard designer David Kosak writes, I am gathering the hot chicks for the cause. Brigham replies Afrasabi, you can't marry all of them, Alex, Kosak writes. I can, I'm Middle Eastern. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, boy, wow. Justin McCree, currently lead game designer at Blizzard, then writes, You misskilled fuck. Um, oh, oh, I see. Okay, very clever. Um, Corey Stock, then currently lead game designer at Blizzard, and Greg Street, former game developer working at Riot MMO Games, were also present in the chat. The chat was provided a series of screenshots depicting a wide array of Facebook posts by Afrasabi, all under a 200,013 photo. The album contained a picture exclusively dedicated to the amount of alcohol procured in preparation. Possibly the greatest group chat in the history of mankind, Stockton wrote in a Facebook comment at that time based off of the screenshot. Stockton and McCree did not immediately respond to the request. Street and Cossack declined to comment. By 2013, there were already multiple allegations of sexual assault against Cosby. Even if a conviction that was later overturned on a technicality wouldn't come until 2018. The co according to one source with knowledge at the hotel room, the Cosby suite name was a play on the comedian's iconic ugly sweaters and didn't have any sexual connotation, at least not whenever the joke began. I mean, you know what this is like? This is like if somebody who was accused of terrorism just happened to have their favorite band be ISIS. This is what it's like. I'm not kidding you. But you know ISIS is an actual band, right? Like, th this is... Like... I, I, it's like, how is... Like, like, are you kidding me? What is this? Another said they understood it to be a reference to an ugly hotel room during a different gaming conference, but in all pictures of the 2013 BlizzCon hotel room reviewed by Kotaku, the walls were largely white and blank and the decor was nondescript. The rug visible in some of the photographs does have a pattern, but it looks nothing like the sweaters that were framed pictures that everyone is holding. Another ex-Blizzard source pushed back on the claims of the Cosby suite was a joke about ugly boardrooms and sweaters. Noting that Blizzard moved to its new Irvine campus in 2008, the office had been freshly painted, and to their knowledge, there was no infamous ugly boardroom. Moreover, regardless of the source of the joke, many of the captions and comments posted in 2013 Cosby suite album are sexual in nature. During the discussions with Kotaku, sources who suggested that the joke was an innocent play on the infamous room somewhere else also insisted that despite its apparent widespread notoriety that was memorable enough to commemorate with a framed picture that they did not know the room belonged to Afrasabi especially. Two other former Blizzard developers told Kotaku that whenever they heard about the Cosby suite through the Whisper Networks that they clearly interpreted it as it referenced to the allegations against them. Bro this is so like what is this? This is like what do you guys think? This is it's so weird. Like, why couldn't it just be, like, the George Carlin suite? Why couldn't it just be, like, the, uh, you know, Richard Pryor suite? Like, why did it have to be Bill Cosby? I mean, I guess it could be the Chris Brown suite, and that one would also be bad. So it's not, like, I mean, there's not only good, better choices. There are also bad choices that you could have made as well. But it certainly fucking seems weird. They knew? Yeah, it's like, 
2013 rape jokes, lols. But like, I feel like a rape joke would have to be funny, you know? Like, it's like there's nothing funny about it. There's no punchline here. It's funny to them though. L let's go ahead back and read the rest of this, okay? The images of Procure Pikaku with two sources of knowledge of Afsabi's alleged predatory behavior. Cosby's reputation was apparently to the point of why the group of men gathered around this picture in the photos. It was such a boys club that creating something like the Cosby suite was seen as funny. Only you could get an efficacy laid. Alex uh, reads, One of the comments in the picture, Cause approved, written by Cossack. However, one source told Kotaku that Cossack was one of the few people that intervened in the past when another Blizzard developer was sexually harassing them. What the fuck? The Cosby Suite and BlizzCon Cosby crew chat also came into question recent statements by current and former Blizzard ranking developers. While Street recently apologized for a sexist panel in response to Warcraft uh, Fan 2010, he did not give any public indication that he was aware or involved in something like the Cosby Suite, despite it being publicly mentioned in California's current lawsuit. After Sabi Masters, who left the company sometime last year without an official announcement by Activision Blizzard. Up until the filing of the lawsuit becoming public, many of his contributions to the game persisted, including multiple non-player characters that items that reference the same. After some fans demanded that references of him be removed, the Warcraft team said that they were going to remove the reference. Uh, while Blizzard did not specify what exactly is going to be axed, Post mentions the brave women that have come forward to share their stories. Uh, last week, Jalen Brack called the allegations of the legal complaint troubling. Employee, okay, we immediately conducted the investigation. Uh, Afrasabi made sexist remarks to a fan in the audience who questioned the Victoria's Secret catalog appearance of World Warcraft's female characters. I don't think this is a big deal. Like, as I said, I, I don't really... Like, the, the 2010, like, BlizzCon panel, right? Like, yeah, obviously they act like assholes, but, like, it, it's like that's... Like, this is just, like, them being dicks. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, this, it's, this is a completely different fucking universe, in my mind. Uh, in the news that the other lawsuit first broke, Activision Blizzard issued a statement largely denying regulators' framing of the allegations as distorted. Um, as a result, over a quarter of Activision's Blizzard's current staff signed an open letter. You have to be willing to look at the ugly side of things. Oh my god. I guess like, okay, so I'll give my perspective, and then you guys can tell me if you felt the same way. So Occam's Razor in my mind. Occam's Razor is, they call it the Cosby Suite because they want to fuck women in there and take advantage of them. And that's imp that that's implied by the fact that almost all of their comments, comments in reference to the Cosby Suite are about bringing women to the Cosby Suite. That is the, that is Occam's Razor. That, that is 100% what I think it could be. That is the simplest and most obvious fucking logical explanation. And the Cosby is, uh, you know, maybe they didn't think he was a rapist. Maybe they thought he just got it on with women or something like that. I don't fucking know. But regardless, um, you know, that this is what they went with. Cosby Suite's a red herring. Who cares? The text messages and Afrasabi's presence are indicative of their intentions. Yeah, that's true too. Turns out Ghost Crawler is a piece of shit as well. Sag. There must always be a Cosby Suite. I'm taking over from Kosak. This is so confusing. It just feels like weird, right? So there's a lot of guys that are like really famous womanizers, right? Like you can have like Frank Sinatra, uh, plenty of other people. I think Frank Sinatra is the first one that comes to mind, right? But like, why do you go with the one guy who's a womanizer that happens to also be accused of being a rapist? You, you see what I'm saying? Like Sean Connery, like Bill Clinton. Now, Bill Clinton's even kind of bad. Leonardo DiCaprio. Like, I mean, yeah. A and he's accused back in the 80s as well. Like James Dean, yeah. Mick Jagger, like, what? That's such a coincidence because it's controversial. I feel like Clinton was controversial too. There's a lot of the other ones that were controversial too. And actually, before I go, I want to read the uh, the post that, uh, that Ghost Crawler made. By now, you've probably seen a Kotaku article that was published this afternoon by mentioning my time at Blizzard. A lot of you have reached out to me on Slack, so I thought maybe it'd be helpful to share a few thoughts. First and foremost, my thoughts. Okay, that's whatever. Secondly, I'm sorry that photos of me in a room called uh, that was dubbed the Cosby Suite have caused great a lot of discussion that risks overshadowing the work you're all doing. For some, this is an unwanted distraction. I know that for others. It has brought up some uncomfortable feelings and questions, and I owe it to you to address it. So here it goes. The suite was a green room at BlizzCon, and many of us used the time to take a break and relax during the convention. Anyone who's been to a BlizzCon knows that there is drinking, but I can genuinely say that I never saw or experienced any kind of the harassment described in the allegations. If I had, I absolutely would have stepped in. 
Looking back, I am embarrassed at the nickname of the room, given all we know now. At the time of 2013, I think of it nothing more as a silly reference to an old flea market portrait. It wasn't even aware of Cosby's reputation until after I left Blizzard and the allegations became more well known. And I certainly would not have tweeted about the suite if I thought it was something terrible at the time. Uh, all that said, I understand the story puts everyone in a tough spot. I'm sorry for that. I hope my reputation here at Riot and your individual experiences will, will give you a strong sense of the person I am and the values I hold. I, I mean, there's no way that we can know what's true. A and that's the reality. Unless more information comes out, there's no way we know what's true. Check comments. He responded to some. Sure, I pull it, I'll pull it up right here. I understand it's correct. Someone purchased a photo of Bill Cosby that actually had no relation to his sexual allegations. Then there's rug in the hotel room, Brian of the BlizzCon, it looked like sweater from the Cosby show. Um, that's where the name came from. The article was a little confusing about that point. I will try to adjust the chat in just a second. I mean, it, it's impossible to know. That's what it comes down to. It's just, it's impossible to know. I've been invited to bro chats, but I didn't take part in anything. It's nothing. Yeah. The thing is, like, there's, like, so many verticals to this that it's really hard to know if he was, like, implicated in this or not. Or he w if he was just okay with, like, kind of being adjacent to it. So, like, for example, I think that hooking up with somebody at BlizzCon, a dev hooking up with somebody at BlizzCon that's not an employee, this is not, this is not the wor end of the world. This is not that bad. But there's a lot of other things besides that that are bad. It's too weird, man. Yeah, it's very weird. Like, so here's what I think he means, okay? I think that he knows that they use that room to hook up with, with other girls at the convention. But what he's saying is that he doesn't know about any of the stuff that was said in the lawsuit, which are two different things, to be fair. Even if there was, you know, he had nothing to do with it, this makes him look really, really bad. Like, at the very, very minimum, it makes him look really, really bad.